In this video, we'll determine the molecular geometry for XEF5+. So the first thing we need to do to find the molecular geometry here, we need a valid Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for XEF5+. You will note that the xenon in the center has an expanded octet. That's okay. It can have more than eight valence electrons. If you need help writing the Lewis structure, there's a link in the description and at the end of the video. So we have this molecular geometry, and we can imagine that each one of these fluorine atoms here, they push away from each other and they spread out. And we have a lone pair here. That occupies volume. That'll also push away from the fluorines. So when all of this spreads out, that's what gives us the molecular geometry for XEF5+. It's really helpful to visualize this. So imagine the purple atom in the center. That's the XE. We add five fluorine atoms. One, two. They spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three, four, five. So in this case, we'd have this geometry here, but we do need to add that extra lone pair. And that lone pair, it'll push things away as well. When we do that, we end up with what's called a square pyramidal molecular geometry. So the square, you can see the square here. So I spin this around. Here's our square in kind of a pyramid like that. So square pyramidal molecular geometry for XEF5+. If you wanted to look at the electron geometry here, it would be octahedral because we need to take this lone pair into account when we look at electron geometry. Let's go back to the Lewis structure. So if you couldn't visualize that, another way you could do it is you could look at the steric groups attached to that central xenon atom. So we had five atoms and one lone pair. So our steric number is six and we had the one lone pair. So as we go down and we go over, that's the square pyramidal molecular geometry. The bond angles here will be approximately 90 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry and bond angles using this chart and steric number. You could also use the AXE notation. A, that's the central xenon atom. X, that's the atoms bonded to that xenon, those five fluorine atoms. And E, that would be the lone pairs. You have a one lone pair. Sometimes they leave the one off. So you know that AX5E1 would be square pyramidal. Or if you were allowed, you could look that up and find that it's square pyramidal as well. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for XEF5+. Thanks for watching.